Okay, so again, we're pulling on the head, pulling on the head. Once he goes the posture up, I, use, I let his posture momentum pull me up, okay, by cupping the back of his head. Once I get up here, all the way to my, all the way to my hand, my hips are on top of his, my guard is open, I'm hooking over the arm, okay? Controlling it at the tricep, right? I'm gonna drop my knee, and I'm gonna bump him that way by pushing my hips up and into him, and I'm gonna pull this arm into the gap here. Oh. Okay. So at speed, it should be a pretty quick move. We're here, we're here, we're here. He pushes up, I come up. All right. Right when he's finally thinking, okay, I've got out of this. I'm gonna get my posture and start doing my pass. All of a sudden, he's getting bumped over. Okay. Other side, same thing. Just so we can get both angles on it. All right. So pay attention. If I wanna. Whatever side I'm cupping the head, that's the side I'm gonna, the opposite side is the side I'm gonna sweep to. So as he postures up, I come up with him. Okay, my, my guard's open, I'm all the way up in my hand, I'm not on my elbow. A lot of people try to do the sweep from their elbow, right? They're here and it's not working. Come all the way up, hook the arm behind the tricep down here to the elbow, drop the knee, bump the legs. Okay, now, how do the submissions come into play? Well. There's only a certain number of things he can do to, to stop the sweep, okay? The two most common things are, I'll get most of the sweep mostly there, and he'll get 80% of the way swept, and he'll post his hand to stop the sweep, right? In which case, I go for a Kimura. Or he senses me coming up, and he tries to body lock me, and just push me back down to the ground, okay? So those are the two situations. And 80% of the time, it'll be one of those two things, all right? So if we come up here, I go to sweep, he posts his hand, Okay, now you're never supposed to put your hand to the mat. Why? Because you don't want to get Kimura. So what did he just do? He put his hand to the mat, all right? So I'm gonna sit my butt out towards that arm, okay? Once my butt gets to the mat towards the arm, I'm coming down into my Kimura grip, all right? Throwing my leg up over his back, no thumbs on the grip, and I want to sit back with the arm. I don't want it here where he can grab his shorts or put his leg over it, okay? Once I get it to here, then it's just an easy rotate forward, all right? If I have it here, there's a lot more flexibility in the arm. If I have it out here, easy rotate for the tap, okay? So again, you come up, I go to the hip on three, you pulse, I scoop my butt towards his arm, I fall into the grip, no thumbs, do the figure four lock, keeping his arm away from his body. This one high up on his back so he can't roll forward. I can take this one and hook his far leg. I like to do that, it's not required, but it adds a little extra piece to the puzzle. And then we're rotating forward. Okay. So that's hip pump sweep to Kimura. The other good attack from there. He was running through these like a sequel. Boom, boom, boom. As I come up, okay, he senses me coming, so he, he locks my body, right? And I know he's going to push back into me. So what I'm going to do, instead of going through the arm, is I'm going to scoop my butt back, okay? Come around, snatch his neck, all right? Fall to that side, and then choke the guillotine, okay? So again, come up with a hip pump sweep, locks around the body. I can't really get the choke while my, leg, while my hips are close to it. So I gotta sit my hips back, sink the choke in, fall to that side, elevate my elbow. And the grip is just like this, elevating the elbow, okay? One more thing on the Kimura, if I get you here, and he's got the hand landed, right? I'm going for the Kimura over here. What some people will do is they'll really straighten this arm down and drill it into the ground. No, just keep it real tight. By, so straightening your arm generally, right here, just right here where you had it, is a way to stop the Kimura, right? It makes it real hard for me to bend it, right? So if he just has it straight into the ground, and I get to here and I can't, I can't bend it, it's just stuck to the ground, he's kind of putting all his weight on that, I can't get it off, I can just finish the sweep, all right? Now, he's got all his weight on that arm to stop. Kimura, all right? So once you take that post out, it just goes right over, all right? So the Kimura and the, and the hip up sweep, all right? They're connected. Kimura, hip up sweep, hip up sweep, Kimura, all right? If they use the post to hand, stop. If they use the body lock, stop, then you look for that, you look for that head. Okay, you scoot your hips back, snatch the head, thumb knuckle grip under their throat, try to pull that arm across their neck, get that elbow as high as you can. Okay, all right, questions? You need to see it?
You're going to, yeah, you're feeling the sweep coming. You post it there. I move my butt to his arm. I weave this, I weave this arm over. I come down, thumbless grip, all right? Throw this leg over his back. Hook the far leg if I can, okay? Keep this arm away from his body. Bring it to my chest. Rotate it towards the sky, okay? Last one. The guillotine. We come up, okay? He, he body locks me like he's going to smash me back down to the ground. I scoop my hips away. I snatch his chin. I come in. Grab my hand, fold to the side that I have the lock. Pull back for the guillotine. Get that elbow nice and high. Try you sit your butt back before you bring your arm yes. around? Yeah, if I don't sit my butt back, I'm in here and I'm body locking me, I can't, it's gonna be real hard. Sit my butt back, makes that space where he sits just under his chin. You can still get it, but it's harder. You don't sit your butt back. And it's just a very little move, so it doesn't take a lot of time. All right, you good? Partner up, one, two, three. 